Hi everybody, welcome back to Everyday 50 Living. I'm Casting Always here as always. Hi everybody. And if you're new to the channel, please stick around and hit that subscribe button for the bells you're notified every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for tuning in, clicking in, checking us out. Do the whole YouTube stuff. You know the whole YouTube stuff. You, you know. Anyway, so today we're doing a Dollar Tree review. So a few weeks back, we got these bad boys right here. So these are from the brand Bolero. These are the whipped body butters that I think everyone was hauling a while back and going goo goo gaga over probably because all the Dollar Tree haulers they always go they always go goo goo gaga for anything like this. So I got four of them. I think those are the only four cents they had. So here they are right here. So obviously they were a dollar twenty five each. They are from the brand Bolero, and the weird thing about Bolero is that it's not a Greenbrier brand. It's from Raw Sugar LLC, which I think is from the Raw Sugar brand that's in Target and Walmart and, you know, that really popular, um, I think they have body butters. Nope. Yeah, body butters, body washes. Raw Sugar. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Body scrubs, I say. So, yeah, they have a whole bunch of stuff. I think hand washes. So, each one. So, the first one we have. So, I know I keep going, like, each one and this. So, my first initial thoughts were that this was going to be a... Thin body butter, thin, thick, and I was kind of right. Thin, thick, and yeah. Was so, it thin or was it thick? It was like both at the same time. So it was cheap. It was cheap. Okay. Okay, I will say $4.25, even though it sounds like a great deal at four ounces, I still think it's not a good deal. It sounds like a good deal, but I don't think it is. Um, the only big ingredients in here besides all the fragrance and all the activating, you know, stabilizing ingredients is the Water, glycerin, and mineral oil. Other than that, there's really nothing in each of these except for this one, which has avocado oil in it. That really seems like it would be moisturizing. And they were okay. They absorbed decently. Um, they did leave my skin feeling a little, little not greasy or shiny, but you, they didn't absorb well. They absorbed okay. So we have the... I this is the fresh watermelon and aloe. As you can uh, see, I did use some of it. And this one, I thought was going to have a nice watermelon, fake watermelon scent. Straight up man's cologne. Straight up man's cologne. Really? Mom, you want to smell? Straight up man's cologne. Yeah, it smells like some sort of man's cologne. This is going straight to my aunt. She's going to love it. The next one, which I suspected was going to have a very musky, deep scent, and I was, of course, correct, is the... Cool mint plus eucalyptus. Oh, I forgot to read the little descriptions. So the fresh watermelon aloe is crafted with fresh watermelon and aloe to instantly add hydrate, instantly add hydrate and boost skin's natural glow. Doesn't sound right. No, add hydrate. No. No. So this was supposed to hydrate and boost the skin. I use it on my legs. Uh, so the. Cool mint and eucalyptus right here. Again, has the same exact ingredients, only just they just changed out the fragrance and the oils and such. This one has eucalyptus leaf extract and the peppermint leaf extract. Uh, this one is to is infused with cooling mint and eucalyptus to help invigorate and revive tired skin. This is what it looks like. Obviously, they all look the same. And this one smells identical to the fresh watermelon and aloe. It's the same exact musky, cologne smell. It's a cologne smell. Can I get her to smell it? Oh, I'm sorry. They smell the same. They smell identical. These two smell identical. The third one, which is the Tropical Hibiscus Plus Rose. This is made with tropical hibiscus and nutrient-rich rose to nourish and give skin an extra shot of moisture. Again, same thing, only they took out all the other stuff and put in what looks to be a hibiscus flower extract and rose flower extract. So I thought it was going to smell like pure, that horrible rose smell that either you like it or you don't like it. One of those two. And and it has, it has such a muted smell. Odi compared it to a deodorant, that powdery smell. It smells like a deodorant. It smells like a deodorant to, to her. To me, it smells like a muted, flowery mature perfume and yeah so this one was okay the only one out of the four that i did like was the cactus pear and avocado now this one does actually have avocado oil in the all the way at the bottom it does have it but it's there 
And so enriched with cactus pear and avocado to help soften and smooth skin. This one, <laughs> what? Oh, it's funny that it would have cactus oil or something in it. No, it has pear fruits. But it no, has it has cactus. cactus. It has cactus. But with cactus is like rough and hard. <laughs> and, you know, cactus would probably need that, right? Okay. Yes. I'm babbling. Yeah, so this one has the lightest, sweetest smell. This is the one that I will be... Oh, you're not going to oh. shove it under my nose? Of course. Oh, wow. Right inside my nose and everything. Thank you. Did you get a nice whiff? The, very, very... Those have... The, the other ones are very, like, manly. Those have a very bland smell to it. Yeah. But this one is, to me, the nice one of them all. So this is the one I will most likely be keeping. And the other three I'll be passing along to my aunt who will go, Oh, my God. Will be, she'll say something like that. She'll say something like that. So overall, these products were okay. I would not recommend them. Even at $1.25, I still feel like they're cheap. And the weird thing is that the consistency was different. I believe, which one was it here? I'm looking at my notes here. The, yeah, this one, the the watermelon one had much was much thinner than all the other ones combined. These were thicker. And this one was thinner for some reason. I don't know why. It was the weirdest thing. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm just, I don't think it's worth $1.25. I know it's only $1.25. So oh, it's not worth $1.25, which is like cheap. It's like really bad. And though. the weird thing is you can't find this Bolero brand outside of the Dollar Tree. It's the weirdest thing that everyone goes crazy over anything Bolero or anything, because I've seen that in the descriptions and the titles and all that stuff, but I don't, I've not seen anything Bolero. The only thing I've ever seen outside of Dollar Tree is, you can find it on Amazon for like t 10 times the amount here, or I think randomly I saw a Marshall's video once, it had one Bolero item, so yeah, it's one of those brands, I guess that's Dollar Tree-esque, you know? I guess so i think that's gonna be it for us today overall the let's see if you're into manly musky scents um then definitely try out the uh fresh watermelon and aloe and the cool mint and eucalyptus this one smells like a deodorant the tropical hibiscus and rose if you're a rose fan you're not gonna get rose out of this and uh, like i said this was the only sweet light fragrancy one and one i'm gonna keep so yeah that's pretty much it. These were, I think, a complete bust for $1.25. All righty then. Well, so now that we is going to be it for us today. Hope everyone there is doing well. Thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, we will see you guys in the next video when I will keep doing this with my arms for some reason. It's a workout. What do you want? Bye, everybody. Bye.